Am I the asshole? For prioritizing my son's dog over my wife's pregnancy? When my son was eight, we got a dog. He's half Great Dane and half some dog my friend's dog met during an unauthorized absence. My son loves this dog and does all the care for him except vet stuff and is a very responsible dog owner. This dog is pretty much his best friend. My wife is 12 weeks pregnant, and ever since we confirmed the pregnancy she has been acting weird around the dog. She avoids him, puts her hands over her stomach when he is around and jolts whenever he makes noise. Today she told me she wants to rehome the dog. I asked her what she was talking about. She said she has been having anxiety that he will jump on her. This is completely unreasonable. He doesn't jump on people. We trained him not to jump on people or run into people very young because he is half Great Dane and I felt this was important for all dogs, but especially one who could possibly grow to such a large size which he did. There is no reason for her to think the dog will jump on her. She said that there is no way to know for sure that the dog won't jump on her, and if he does our baby could be hurt. This dog has never so much as growled at her. She said even if the dog doesn't jump on her, her anxiety about it is bad for her health. She said she needs the dog elsewhere for her safety and the babies. I told her that there was no way. My son got this dog right after he lost his mom and imprinted on him hard. Sometimes I think he loves the dog more than me I'm not taking his dog. The dog didn't do anything. My wife said I am prioritizing the dog over her pregnancy. The dog isn't a threat to her pregnancy. If this were any other unreasonable request, I would just do it because she is pregnant. I just can't break my son's heart over a fear she has that makes no sense. Am I being an asshole? I would microchip the dog, if you haven't already. Make sure info is up to date, and see if she will seek counseling compromise. Your kid needs his dog. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Don't you dare give away your son's dog. He didn't ask for you to remarry and have a new child. Your son will never forgive you, or your new wife, if you allow her to continue to push this topic. She needs to actively work on coping with her anxiety. May I suggest therapy? Not the asshole. And make sure the dog is microchipped. Just in case the dog gets out, accidentally. Not the asshole. Animals are lifetime responsibilities. Pawning them off because she got pregnant would be a shitty thing to do. Not the asshole. But your title is wrong. You're prioritizing your son over your pregnant wife's irrational fear. I think it might smooth things over if you're open to considering reasonable measures to allay her fears, though. Not the asshole. That dog is family. You're not prioritizing anything, you're just being reasonable. If you give that dog up your son will hate you, and rightfully so. Not the asshole. Assuming what you've said is true and the dog doesn't jump on people. Is she also going to quit driving? Quit walking upstairs? Or walking at all? Or leaving the house at all? Being alive at all is an inherent risk, and all sorts of mundane things are also a potential risk. I'm a woman. I've had a kid. If her anxiety is that bad, she should look into ways for her to manage it. Nta. If you gave away my dog for that, I'd never forgive you. She is being dramatic. You're in for a very long pregnancy. Not the asshole, but having anxiety in pregnancy is totally a thing and can be debilitating. You should encourage your wife to talk with her OB about it because there's a lot they can do counseling, meds, etc. I started having intrusive thoughts during pregnancy and dealt with it on my own, but postpartum was a lot harder to manage by myself. I still came out of it all right, but hormones really mess up your mental health sometimes be gentle with your wife and don't make this a huge thing. She can't help her anxieties, but you guys can work as a team to help her navigate through them. Not the asshole but get your wife some professional help. She says there's no way to know the dog won't jump on her. There's no way no way to know a tree won't fall on her. Or if she'll be attacked by a rabid raccoon. All of these scenarios are possible but unlikely. It's understandable that she's anxious and protective right now. But she can't live in a bubble. It's unlikely the dog will jump on her but it's almost certain she'll forever damage her relationship with your son if she rehomes the dog. Also, getting rid of the dog would almost certainly cause your son to resent the baby. Not the asshole. The not the asshole I say this as a person who had two Great Danes during two pregnancies. My children adore their dogs and it would be cruel to rehome your son's dog, particularly at a time when he is about to have less attention available to him with a new baby in the house. Your wife is being completely unreasonable. Also, I see this happen constantly when a baby is on the way, the dog s get rehomed. When the baby is born make sure you have spaces where the dog can't go baby gates etc, 
But please don't rehome a dog he and your son have done nothing to deserve it. I had never truly experienced anxiety until I got pregnant and had my daughter. See if there is someone you both could talk to about her anxiety, because there is a lot more things to lose yourself in the anxiety hold than the dog and dealing with it now would be ideal. Not the asshole. This extreme and unnecessary anxiety is 100 a product of the pregnancy hormones. My suggestion would be to have her talk with a third-party therapist about why she fears the dog so much and so someone unbiased can explain to her how little risk the dog poses to her and the baby. Best of luck, Op. Not the asshole. You're doing the right thing for your son and he would most likely never forgive you if you get rid of his dog that is well trained and well cared for. Your wife needs therapy to manage her anxiety about this. If she's anxious like this now, it will most likely get worse when the baby is born. Info has your wife previously expresses any displeasure with the dog? Does she normally interact, play with it before she got pregnant? Info what was your wife's relationship with the dog prior to her becoming pregnant? Is she using the pregnancy as a reason to get rid of a dog she did not want? Not the asshole. I saw a lot of comments says she's being irrational and manipulative. She's likely suffering from pet aversion I'd the proper name or if there even is one but it's pretty common during pregnancy. Is it irrational? Yes. But is it very real to her? Also yes. She needs to see a therapist about it. It's completely unfair to everyone for the dog to be rehomed over this. Not the asshole. It doesn't sound like there's a reason to worry about the dog at this time. She's just scared. Continue to reassure her. I'd also make sure your dog's microchip or tattoo information information is up to date, just in case her hormones and fear get the best of her. Not the asshole. Perhaps your wife needs therapy for this anxiety issue. She should talk to her doctor, who should be able to refer her to a therapist. The doctor might also be able to calm her fears somewhat by explaining what injuries might be inflicted if the dog jumps on her. You might also tell your wife that you'd rather rehome her than the dog. Maybe that will get her to come to her senses. Nah. Something is causing her anxiety and that should be addressed, carefully and with compassion. It would be extremely traumatic for your son to lose his dog at the same time his dad has a new baby. She is going to have to have some compassion for him with this and you will need to protect him. Not the asshole. She is being completely irrational. Baby brain for sure. Also, I hate to say it, but Great Danes tend to have shorter lifespans. Giving away the dog in his senior years would be beyond cruel. But be gentle with her. Hormones make you do all sorts of crazy stuff in terms of protecting the bum. Is there any bonding things your wife can do with the dog? Maybe come on walks with you, help feeding the dog etc. I love my dog with all my heart but when I was pregnant I was terrified of the same thing. I this is actually not uncommon during pregnancy. Some women will begin to hate their pets. Usually it goes away some time after the child is born. Not the asshole. Her ask is not reasonable. That said, pet aversion during pregnancy is a real thing so there could be weird hormone stuff messing with her. Not the asshole. Pets are family members, and are not to be given away unless the circumstances are extreme. Maybe put up some baby gates and keep him to a certain portion of the house to minimize her time around him. That's the dog's home and family though, and it'd be cruel to kick him out. Not the asshole. Do not take the dog away. If your wife really has anxiety about this, she needs therapy. If she is exacerbating this because she doesn't like the dog, you all need therapy because after the baby, she may treat the kids very differently. Either way, counseling. The dog has done nothing wrong, nor has your son. Do not separate them. Nah, I would talk to her medical provider about pregnancy-induced anxiety. I got her around food, and I remember crying because I saw a billboard about french fries, wanted to eat some and felt like a bad mom for thinking about eating fries because they're unhealthy. It's okay, and even good to feel protective of your pregnancy, but the hormones can set that into overdrive. Mine also made me suddenly hate kids. I worked in chili care. I love kids, but every single thing was so annoying and gross, literally overnight. Just try to help her feel less overwhelmed. Not the asshole and she is being unreasonable. Please do not let this woman break your son's heart. I would have a private chat with your son and ask how she treats him when you are not around. Info are you doing anything at all to help your wife's anxiety about the issue? I absolutely do not think you should remove the dog, but there is clearly something going on with your wife and she may need actual help. Not the asshole. You're a great dad. You recognize how important the dog is to your son. 
It sounds like you've invested time into training and socializing your dog, so this hormone-induced anxiety is baseless. Still, it might not hurt to suggest a therapist to your wife. The jolting movements whenever the dog makes a sound or the clutching of her stomach when the dog walks by her is a bit on the dramatic side, however. Not the asshole and I sense this is an excuse to get rid of the dog. Not the asshole. Your wife needs to discuss her issues with her doctor now I would doubt there is any reported cases of miscarriage due to a dog jumping on a lap. I doubt even Clifford could cause that. And like another commenter said microchip the dog if it isn't already, I wouldn't put it past your wife to try something while she's dealing with whatever psychosis is going on inside her head. Not the asshole. Your son needs his dog and it really doesn't sound like the dog is a danger to her. I really hope that this is a simple case of your wife being overly anxious during her pregnancy rather than your wife actively trying to alienate you from your son. Not the asshole she has anxiety and a little paranoia. She should talk to her abjan about this. The sudden fears alongside the pregnancy, may lead to some relief. Not the asshole. Could your wife see the dog as a reminder of your first wife that she now wants to erase? Will your son be next? Not the asshole. But you should encourage wife to bring up anxiety with doctor. Also invest in baby gates early and allow wife to have protected access around the house by gating ungating dog in different sections so they don't need to get too close to each other. Pregnancy has a lot of hormonal changes, including new or worsening anxiety. Your wife might be experiencing prenatal anxiety. Or she might just not like the dog or your son.